Yo, what is going on guys, Alien ESP here and I'm back with another video for today. Now the video I'm doing today is a bit different. I love doing these videos, I want to try to do one every day apart from Sunday. But I've got no product, like none of it's arrived, I've ordered loads of stuff. I've got, I've ordered a Battle Stars booster box, that hasn't arrived. I've ordered two Shining Fates boxes, the two VMAX Premium Collections, those that haven't arrived. But two, well... Talking about Shining Fates, one thing that has arrived is this ETB. I've also got a Hidden Fates ETB. I showed these off in yesterday's video. I also showed off my binder. Make sure to check that out if you haven't. And if you, if we get a few likes and a few subscribers off this video, I will be cracking these open in the coming days slash weeks. I'm extremely excited to do that. I hope you guys are too. But yeah, back to what this video is about. Essentially, due to um, my lack of product at the moment, I can't really open anything. I'm doing something a bit different. I'm doing kind of an investment type video of putting Pokemon cards. I don't want to be known for this. I'm not a financial advisor. I legally have to disclose this. Well, I, the box I'm talking about in this video, which you'll see when I flip my camera around, I've got it on the table already, could go either two ways. If you buy this box based off what I've said in this video and it doesn't turn out to be a good investment, I'm not a financial advisor, I can't really help it. I'm keeping this box sealed, I'm not going to open it in today's video. If I manage to find another one of these boxes at a good price, I probably will pick it up because the packs in it are phenomenal. That's one reason why I do believe it will be a good investment. So yeah, let's flip the camera, let's talk about the box and say why I think it'll be a good investment. Let's get right into it, baby. So this is it, this is the box I was talking about in the intro, in case you can't tell, it's the Pokemon True Steel Premium Collection, this is the Zacian version, quickly I'll go over the two different versions, at the bottom here you can see the two legendary Pokemon from the Sword and Shield video games, Zacian on the left and Zamazenta on the right. This one is the Zacian version. I've gotten this one because one, I prefer Zacian as a Pokemon, and the majority of people do. Pokemon Sword has got more sales than Pokemon Shield, and Zacian is the cover Pokemon for Pokemon Sword, Zamazenta being the cover Pokemon for Pokemon Shield. So I think that's one factor which will determine why it's a good investment. The other factor is what just comes in it. You can see at the top here you get a figure and a pin. I don't really think that will affect the value too much. You also get this promo card, but those three things I don't think will really affect it that much. Here's the back of the box if you want to pause the video and read it. It's nothing too interesting, just what it contains and just some and other random stuff. But yeah, let's get right into it, why I believe that this will be the good investment. So in this box, you do get six packs. The packs being a Burning Shadows, a Team Up. I think I've seen some of an Unbroken Bonds pack. I'm sure I did. But I don't know what that's about. Maybe it's a separate wave or whatever. Then we've got two Darkness Ablaze packs. This box did actually come out when Darkness Ablaze was the latest set. So that explains that. And there's also a Sword and Shield base set and an Evolutions pack. So if we look at these packs right now, the Burning Shadows pack is a Sun and Moon era. It's actually the third set that came out in Sun and Moon. So it's quite old already, I want to say. Yeah, four years, nearly five. Five of some of this year, 2021. That card, probably the best card from that set is the Rainbow Rare or Hyper Rare, whatever you want to call it, Charizard GX. That card is extremely hard to pull. I don't know what the pull rate is exactly, but I know the odds aren't in your favor. That card in PSA 10 goes for thousands of thousands of dollars. It's extremely rare. I know Max Mofo really, really wants to pull one. I think he did actually, which is amazing for him. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to pull it as well. But like I said, I'm not opening this box. But if I find this box for a good price, I will be opening it. The next pack in this box is a Team Up. Now Team Up doesn't have any, well it does have a Charizard, but it's not ultra rare. It's just a regular hollow which also did get a theme deck and a pre-release promo. But Team Up, in my opinion, I'd say the number one card is either the Pikachu and Zekrom GX or the Alternate Art Latios and Latias GX. Now that card, the Alternate Art Latias and Latios, is so popular. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you go Google it. It's a truly beautiful card. It's got Latias and Latios posed making a love heart. I know so many people who actually buy that card for their partner on Valentine's Day. 
kind of crazy to think about that people are buying their partners Pokemon cards now. But yeah, I'd love to get that card, but I'm a single guy, so no one's buying me that, unfortunately. But yeah, and Team Up also, I don't think, is getting reprinted. I know the Cosmic Eclipse one, the Cosmic Eclipse reprint, sorry, just got announced it's not being... It's not happening, and I don't think I don't think there was ever a team up one planned. So yeah, that might affect the price if this set's never reprinted. Then it'll be a scarce amount of the packs in the market. Next on, we've got the two Darkness of Blaze packs. These packs came out summer 2020, so relatively new. I do believe they'll get printed again before they rotate out of the standard format. The number one card from this set is probably well, definitely the Charizard V Max. Not the rainbow one, that's in Champion's Path. Not the shiny one, that's in Shining Fate. It's just a pure regular Charizard V Max. However, I don't think describing a Charizard V Max as reg is regular is fair to say because it has a truly phenomenal artwork to it i haven't pulled one myself maybe there's one in this box who knows but yeah there's also the eternatus v max which is an extremely playable card in the actual game itself no tournaments happening right now and no torn on no physical tournaments were happening when this set was released due to the global pandemic However, the online tournaments on the Pokemon Trading Game online application really did show that this Eternatus VMAX is quite a powerful card. However, it's weak to fighting, and if you're in the game, you'll know that Urshfu VMAX, the Rapid and Single Strike, are both fighting. So that's kind of made Eternatus less powerful since it hits weakness onto that. But yeah, onto the next pack of this box, which is Sword and Shield Base. Now, I know a lot of people, they don't like Sword and Shield Base. Well... It's more popular than the Rebel Clash, or Rebel Trash, should I say, to say the least. But Sword and Shield base, probably the best card. Like, maybe, I don't know, the Gold Zation V. That's a really nice one. Love to have that in a 10 one day. There's also a Rainbow Rare Lapras V Max, which I've got one currently getting graded at PSA. When those cards come back that I've sent, I will do a PSA submission. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But yeah, some other good cards would be the... Pardon, the Golden Zation, the Golden Zamazenta, sorry, I already said the Zation, but as I said in the beginning of this video, Zation is, Zation is more popular than Zamazenta, however, there are a few people who do like Zamazenta out there, for whatever reason, I don't know why. There's also a, a metal, a gold metal saucer, which is playable in the Zation deck. So if you are playing that deck, I know people often pair Zation with ADP, which is rotating out soon, you may want that card for your deck. There's also, finally, the Evolutions pack. Now, Evolutions was such an overprinted set. People used to think, ah, oh, no, it's not going to be good in, like, years in the future because there's so much of it on the market. But, however, with the recent boom in Pokemon, Evolutions has gone mad. In case you don't know, a lot of the artwork from Evolutions is just, co is like, very similar. I wouldn't say copied, but from the original base set. So people just saw Evolutions as a cheaper alternative. Because base set is extremely, extremely expensive and rare to find. It's like, you know, first edition base set pack, what was it? Logan Paul auctioned it, it was 40k a pack. And you didn't even get it open, he opened it on your behalf. That was crazy. So yeah, Evolutions, I want to say it's like £20 a pack. I've got a sealed Evolutions on my shelf. So I may open that for a video. If you want to see that, let me know in the comments and then subscribe and I'll do it for sure. But yeah, there's so many Charizards. That's definitely the number one card from Evolutions. You probably knew that anyway. There's a Charizard Holographic. There's a reverse hollow of that. Charizard EX. Mega EX and the Mega EX Full Art. Truly beautiful card. With like the Japanese writing going across its stomach. I really do love that artwork. I don't have one in my collection, but... I think I will pick one up later down the line. So yeah, that is why I believe that this box, it will just retain its value in the future. Uh, you can go pick one up if you want to. If you like the reasons that I've said in this video, if you agree with them, you can do that. You don't have to. And like I said in the beginning, I'm not a financial advisor. So if it doesn't go well, it's, it's kind of not my fault. I couldn't predict it. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping it does well. Obviously, I've got a sealed one. There's a bit of a crease up here. You can probably see that. So I may end up opening this box and buy another one. Because if you're going to buy a box, 
here's a tip for you if you're going to buy a box to sell it down the line you're going to want that box in as minty condition as possible no creases like you see up here you don't want it sun faded or anything because that's going to affect one the price and two who's actually going to buy it because you know if they're going to then crack the box open for themselves sure they don't care about a crease but if they're going to buy a box then keep sealed for their collection they're going to care about the crease so yeah you got to make sure when I mean, anything in Pokemon you want in best condition, like it's card, sealed product like this. Yeah, anything, to be honest. So yeah, guys, that was basically it. That's why I believe the Pokemon True Steel Premium Collectionization Edition is a good investment. Let me know in the comments if you also agree with the points I've said. Like I just said, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do decide to go out and buy one of these and it doesn't go well, I apologise. But look at me, I'm a kid. I don't know all this stuff, all right? I'm learning. I'm new, not new to the Pokemon game. However, my YouTube channel did just start. So if you do decide to help with that, you know, a subscribe, like, and comment would be really, really appreciated. That would really help the channel grow, but you don't feel like you have to. Also, if you do go out and buy one of these boxes, let me know in the comments. And then also let me know what you plan on doing with it. If you're going to keep it sealed like I am, or if you're going to open it. If you do buy one and open it, I totally get it. I used to not be a fan, like, at all of keeping products sealed. Never get a pack, box, tin, anything Pokemon, crack it open straight away. However, these two boxes are definitely getting cracked open. The hidden and Shining Fates Elite Trainer boxes. If you want to see these two opened, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel, like, leave a comment and share the video. Because honestly, I cannot wait for these two beauties to be open and I hope you're just excited to open them as I am. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it. I've got some unique ideas actually coming up in the future, so I'm very excited for that. I hope you guys are too. So make sure to subscribe and like and everything that I've just said with these ETBs. But yeah, that's basically it, being it. I've been Alien ESP, you've been fantastic viewers, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.